They are considered some of the fathers of death metal. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Paul Mazurkowitz of Cannibal Corpse. So why don't you tell us how you personally first got into music and how you came to follow it as your career? I'm probably about 10 years old when it all started. Um, uh, music was starting to be a little bit more prominent in my life, I guess, or just I'm more aware of music. And um, the, the band Kiss, of course, you know, being a, a male, uh, growing up in the in the 70s like that, made me want to, to, to pursue music, you know, and, and, and in some extent, I guess, you know, but I was still, of course, too young to understand any of this until uh, around 16 when I got my first set of drums and started playing with the, my, my friends from high school. It was just really, you know, the love of music and, uh, you know, wanting to create music for myself and, and uh, you know, just getting together with my friends and, you know, teenagers and, and you know, start, start plugging away. And, you know, the rest is, uh, as they say, history, I guess. Now, what was it about KISS that, you know, really drew you in? I think a lot of it was the visuals, you know, seeing them, uh, you know, dressed up that way and act the way they acted. I mean, there was just nothing like that. A lot of it was the show. Maybe if they weren't, if they didn't have the makeup on and they, you know, well, then they, of course, wouldn't be KISS. Um, so I think a lot of the, you know, the, the, those reasons why I got into them and probably a lot of people got into them was, you know, the visual aspect. Who were your drum idols? It was probably a couple of years after when I, you know, became more involved in other styles of music, of course. Neil Peart from Rush, of course. Huge influence, love that band. And then it really just all the heavy metal guys from, say, 82 on. I mean, Lars Ulrich was a big influence. But probably in the modern sense of it, you know, what made me want to do what I do today, for the most part, is Dave Lombardo from Slayer. So he would be my, uh, my biggest influence. What is the best piece of advice that you've ever received that you could impart? Never had the take that you just asked me about advice that I was given, because I was never given advice. I never had anybody helping me out, or really cannibal for that matter. I mean, we were just kids figuring it out for ourselves, you know? The advice that I could give to bands, you know, or musicians is, man, stick true to what you love. Music is, is, is an art form. It shouldn't be about anything else, about, you know, fame or fortune or, or whatever. It should be about because you love to do this kind of music or any kind of music for that matter. You know, or anything in life. It doesn't even have to be music. It's just be, being passionate about something, you know, and that you, you know, you take it as, far, as long as you can go, as far as you can go. Do what you, do what you have to do to make it happen because you're going to probably re regret it later in life if you didn't even, if you didn't even try great thank you very much well thank you